Welcome everyone to the communion of reparation of the first Saturdays of the month. Today, we start a new series of five first Saturdays. On this day of reparation, to our Holy Mother's sorrowful and immaculate heart, we will be praying the Holy Rosary together with our Blessed Mother in meditation as she requested. Today, we are gathering from different parts of the world, China, Africa, Europe, North, Central, and South America. We all gather under one voice, one spirit in honor of the Holy Trinity through the intercession and presence of our Heavenly Mother under her sacred mantle. United with the militant, penitent, and triumphant church, we offer this holy rosary of reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary in the divine will of God the Father in his divine love. As the mystical body of Christ, we will focus our prayers on priests offering reparation for their sanctification. We will be praying for the intentions of the communities of Father Cory in Gadia and Louisiana, Father Tunda in Burkina Faso, Africa, Father Stevan in Shanghai, China, Father Carlos in Hong Kong, China, and Father Hector and Father Daniel in Mexico. As in this moment, we invite everyone to prepare for this Holy Rosary when a spirit of contemplation and reverence. In silence, let us present our petitions to our Lord. The origin of this devotion. On December the 10th, 1925, the Most Holy Virgin appeared to Sister Lucia of Fatima, and by her side on the luminous cloud was the child Jesus. As the Most Holy Rose, the, the Most Holy Virgin rested her hand on Sister Lucia's shoulder. She outstretched her other hand, presenting to Lucia her immaculate heart and circled by thorns. At the same time, the child Jesus said, Have compassion on the heart of your most holy mother, constantly pierced by thorns by ungrateful men, with no one to make an act of reparation to remove them. Then the most holy virgin said, Look, my daughter, and my heart, constantly pierced with thorns by ungrateful men, through their blasphemies and ingratitude. At the very least, try to console me by telling others that I promise to assist at their hour of death. They will receive all the graces necessary for salvation if on the first Saturday of five consecutive months, they go to confession, receive Holy Communion, and keep me company for 15 minutes while reciting five decades of the rosary and meditating on the rosary mysteries with the intention of making reparation to me. On February the 15th of 1926, the infant Jesus appeared to Sister Lucia and told her, My daughter, many souls begin first Saturday devotions, but few finish them, and those who do complete them only do so to receive the graces that are promised. It would please me more if I did five consecutive Saturdays with fervor and the intention of making reparation to the heart of your Heavenly Mother than if they did fifteen in a tepid and indifferent manner. The Conditions for Making the Five First Saturdays At the request of Our Lady, her faithful devotees can console her by meeting the following requirements for the five first Saturdays of the month, specifically directed to make reparation for the blasphemies to her immaculate heart. Pray five decades of the Holy Rosary. Attend Holy Mass, receiving our Divine Lord worthily in Holy Communion. 
with the intention of making reparation for the offenses against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Meditate on the mysteries of the Holy Rosary for at least 15 minutes. Make a good confession and receive sacramental absolution. During this pandemic, check with your parish the confession schedule and do not forget to go at your first opportunity and fulfill penance. Make sure to tell the priest you will be doing confession specifically in reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Consecrate ourselves to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Intentions. Mother Fatima's intentions for this rosary are to make reparation for the five types of blasphemies with which Our Lady is offended and which she herself revealed to Sister Lucia. Offenses or blasphemies against her Immaculate Conception, its denial and or ridicule. Blasphemies against her perpetual virginity that she had relations with Joseph and had other children. Blasphemies against her divine maternity, refusing to accept her as mother of God and mother of all humankind, denying that she's the mother of God and our mother. Instilling indifference, contempt and hatred in children's hearts against our Immaculate Mother. Insult directed against her sacred images displays of indifference or ridicule and the infliction of damage to them. We now begin part one of the 15 minutes requested by Our Lady to accompany her while meditating on the mysteries of the Holy Rosary. We must remember her calls to pray the Rosary daily as a path to salvation and reparation for the offenses against God and her Immaculate Heart. We will meditate on the message given by Our Lady of the Rosary to the three little shepherds on her first apparition at Fatima. The reflection is taken from, quote, the first two apparitions of Our Lady of Fatima, unquote, a blog post from Donna Mary Cooper O'Boyle on the Franciscan Media website. In a document entitled, The Message of Fatima, the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith declared that Fatima is undoubtedly the most prophetic of modern apparitions. To understand the reason for this, we should look first at the historical context, context in which these messages were revealed. Though the angel of peace had visited three times, the reality of World War I was still a terrible one for the Portuguese people in early 1917. In the midst of the spiritual, physical, an emotional agony of the war, Pope Benedict XV called for a novena to be said to Our Lady, the Queen of Peace. May 13, 1917 was the eighth day of the novena. On that spring day, Lucia, Francisco, and Jacinta were once again with their flocks in the Cova da Iria. It had been roughly eight months since they had been visited by the angel of peace. The first apparition, May the 13th of 1917.
After getting the flocks out to the pasture, the children sat down on the ground to eat their lunches. Suddenly, what seemed like a bolt of lightning dazzled the sky with brilliant light. The children rushed to round up their flocks, but before they could get to sleep, to their sheep, another flash summoned their attention. They stood in amazement before a beautiful lady dressed in white who was positioned on a home oak tree. Lucia described the scene in her memoirs. She seemed more brilliant than the sun and radiated light clearer and more intense than a crystal glass filled with sparkling water when the rays of the burning sun shine through it. The beautiful lady immediately put the children at ease. She said, do not be afraid, I will do you no harm. Imagine the surprise as well as delight and curiosity the children felt when the peaceful, mysterious lady spoke to them. The lady had a young, glowing countenance. In fact, Lucia later said that she looked to be about 17 years old, wearing a mantle and a tunic that seemed to be made of light. A cord with a little ball of light hung from her neck and towards the bottom of her tunic was a star. The lady was holding rosary beads, which were as brilliant as stars, the crucifix seeming to give off the most radiant light of all. Suffer and pray. The lady then asked the children if they would accept their heavenly mission. Are you willing to offer yourselves to God and bear all the sufferings he wills to send you as an act of reparation for the sins by which he is offended? and of supplication for the conversion of sinners? Yes, we are willing, the children answered. The angel of peace had prepared their hearts for this special mission. Otherwise, the children might not have understood the depths of this great entrustment and might not have responded affirmatively so quickly and passionately. Then you are going to have much to suffer the beautiful lady warned. But the grace of God will be your comfort, she assured them. Though their hearts were prepared by the angel's apparitions, and now the comfort from the beautiful lady, they still did not have any idea about how quickly their lives of suffering would unfold. Keeping secrets. Suffering indeed came to children unfolding in a way that they were not expecting through the ones that loved them. Lucia had instinctively asked Francisco and Jacinta to keep the visions a secret. The lady had not asked that of them, but Lucia sensed that it was best to keep it all quiet. Despite her warnings and her younger cousin's promises, their secret was soon revealed. Little Jacinta could not contain her excitement over what had happened. She waited by the gate for the mother to come home that day. Upon seeing her mother, Jacinta hugged her tightly and then told her everything. Her mother, Olympia, thought her daughter's imagination was galloping away uncontrollably. After mulling it over, her father, Timarto, came to believe his daughter's story. Jacinta's brother Francisco had maintained the exact same story and he had never lied before. Meanwhile, Lucia's mother, Maria Rosa, was angry with her daughter when she got wind of the Elch sightings. She was not talking any of it lightly, believing Lucia to be responsible for committing a serious sin and even of being a blasphemous. The family had already experienced some troubling difficulties. Maria Rosa feared even worse repercussions. Lucia was mocked by her own family, as well as her neighbors and some friends. Young Jacinta felt terrible about making things tough for Lucia. 
she apologized to Lucia, who immediately forgave her. Jacinta also deeply reflected on the lady's visit. She felt bad about rushing through her earlier rosaries and vowed to pray her future rosaries with love and devotion. The three of them talked about this amongst themselves. Francisco came up with the idea to feed the lunches to the sheep, to make sacrifices, to convert sinners. They later decided to give their food to any people in need that they would see when bringing their sheep out to the pastures. They also decided to deprive themselves of drinking water, even on the boiling hot summer days out in the dry, rocky fields, as a sacrifice to help the lady. This was all done in secret. Meanwhile, Maria Rosa was determined to convince her parish priest to put pressure on Lucia so that she would recant her story. She wanted the whole thing nipped in the bud before it grew worse and embarrassed the family even further. Father Manuel Ferreira met with Lucia and listened to her story. The interrogations made Lucia feel uncomfortable. All this kind of heartache, suffering and scrutiny went on for Lucia throughout the remainder of the time before the beautiful lady was going to be coming back as she had promised. The beautiful encounter with the lady seemed to vanish as quickly in her mind as when the lady herself had disappeared into heaven. And now Lucia was left with three things weighing on her, a promise from the lady that she would return, her own promises to the lady of her willingness to suffer, offer and pray the rosary, and an almost unbearable suffering in not being believed by those she loved. This third burden was the heaviest for Lucia. Deep plaguing doubts caused her to wonder if the devil could be behind the lady's appearance like some said. Little Francisco and Jacinta continued to encourage Lucia. June the 13th approached and Lucia's doubts faded as the urge to go to see the heavenly lady overtook her heart and soul. When the morning came, she ran to Francisco and Justinta's house to tell them that she would go. A time to reflect. The blessed mother entrusts a great mission to three children. They could have run away from the vision and from the lady speaking to them. They could have listened and watched, then ignored the whole thing. But they chose to believe and take it to their hearts. The children were asked if they would offer sufferings and sacrifices to save souls. Even in such tender years, they agreed, they cared, they desired to help others and did not worry that they would not be strong enough to carry out what was asked of them. They trusted. Do we have the same love in our hearts? Could our hearts be hardened from life's experiences or by sin? Take some time to sit still, unplug from technology and think about what God might be calling you to do. Thank you. 
those who wish to make reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary and thus give consolation to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, we begin our reparation rosary now. We will pray the glorious mysteries. The meditations have been taken from the book, Treasures of First Saturday Devotion by Father Andrew Apostoli. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us pray for protection from all evil, harm or sickness through the precious blood of Jesus. Precious blood, ocean of divine mercy, flow upon us. Precious blood, most pure offering, a curious every grace. Precious blood, hope and refuge of sinners, atone for us. Precious, precious blood, the light of holy souls, flow us. Amen. Let us pray to the Holy Spirit for guidance. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and enkindle in them the fire of thy love. Send for thy spirit and they shall be created. And thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, Grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under, Pons under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence, he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We now pray the pardon prayer, the angel's prayer, and the sacrifice prayer. Three prayers taught by the angel of peace who appeared to the three little shepherds in Fatima during his visits before Our Lady's first apparition. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I ask pardon of you for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I ask pardon of you for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I ask pardon of you for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. O oh, most holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly. I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul, and the dignity of Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles of the world, preparation for the outrageous, sacrilegious, and the difference by which he is offended an infinite merit of the sacred heart of Jesus and immaculate heart of Mary, I beg of you the conversion of poor sinners. Mm. Oh, my Jesus, 
It is for the love of you and in reparation for the offenses committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary and for the conversion of poor sinners. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, approached, rolled back the stone, and sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing was white as snow. The guards were shaken with fear of him and became like dead men. And the angel said to the woman in reply, do not be afraid. I know that you are seeking Jesus, the crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, he has been raised from the dead and is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. Matthew chapter 28, verses 1 to 7. Immaculate Heart of Mary, the angel announced to three pious women who came to anoint our Lord, do not be afraid. At Fatima, the angel prepared the three shepherd children to see God with the same greeting, do not be afraid. It is my desire to keep company with those pleasing to God, so I too may hear the words, do not be afraid when I see him in his glory. Please grant me the grace to avoid all occasions of sin. In this decade, we will pray the responses to the Lord's Prayer and the Hail Marys in Spanish and Mandarin. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día, perdona nuestras ofensas como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en tentación y líbranos del mal. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito el fruto de tu vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, Ruega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Juan Fu María, ni chong man sang chong, yo yuni tong zai, ni zai fu nu chong shou zan song, ni da ching zi yesu tong shou zan song, tian zhu shang mu María, chou ni xian zai, he wo men ling chong shi, wei wo men zhe ren qi chou tian zhu. Amén. Wan Fu Maria, Ni Chong Man Sang Chong, Zhu Yuni Tong Zai, Ni Zai Fu Nu Chong Shou Zan Song, 
你的亲子耶稣同受赞颂，天主圣母玛利亚，求你现在和我们临终时，为我们罪人祈求天主。阿门。万福玛利亚，你充满圣宠，主与你同在，你在妇女中受赞颂。你的亲子耶稣同受赞颂，天主圣母玛利亚，求你现在和我们临终时，为我们罪人祈求天主。阿门。万福玛利亚，你充满圣宠，主与你同在，你在妇女中受赞颂，你的亲子耶稣同受赞颂，天主圣母玛利亚。求你现在和我们临终时，为我们罪人祈求天主。阿门。万福玛利亚，你充满圣宠，主与你同在，你在妇女中受赞颂，你的亲子耶稣同受赞颂。天主圣母玛利亚，求你现在和我们临终时，为我们罪人祈求天主。Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. 起初如何，今日依然，直到永远。Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin. 我们奔赴您台前，切望您为我们转求。O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. 求你把众人的灵魂，特别是那些需要你怜悯的灵魂，领到天国里去。阿门。The second glorious mystery, the ascension. When they had gathered, they asked him, "Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel?" He answered them. It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by His own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When He had said this, as they were looking on, He was lifted up. And the cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky, as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, "Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him." Going into heaven. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. Acts chapter one, verses six to twelve. Immaculate Heart of Mary, you fulfilled your promise in October to perform a miracle. The clouds parted in heaven, and the little shepherds were graced to see you with Saint Joseph, who was holding the child Jesus in his arms. It is my great desire to go to heaven, yet I realize by your words, for Blessed Francisco, how deficient I am. He will go there too, but he must say many rosaries. I pray, dear mother. For the gift of prayer and self-denial, so I may attend to the angel at Fatima. What are you doing? Pray, pray, pray very much. The most holy hearts of Jesus and Mary have designs of mercy on you. Offer prayers and sacrifice constantly to the Most High. In this decade, we will pray the responses to the Lord's Prayer and the Hail Marys in French, Creole, and German. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Père, nous besoin chaque joie, ba nou li jodi a. Pardonné ça nous fait où? Ta kou nou pardonné moun ki fait nou ki choy. Pa kite nou pran en piège, mais délivre nous à ça qui mal amen. Marie, c'est pour content. Ou même qui plein faveur. Grand mettre là avec vous. Li béni on passe toute fille. Et li béni Jésus petit tout faire. Marie ou saint. Ou c'est maman bon Dieu. Nous c'est pécheur. La prière pour nous aujourd'hui a ak le nous prête pour mourir. Amen. Marie c'est pour content. Ou même qui plein faveur. Grand mettre là avec vous. Li béni on passe toute fille. Et li béni Jésus petit tout faire. Marie ou saint, ou c'est maman bon Dieu, nous c'est pécheur. La prière pour nous aujourd'hui a ak le nous prête pour mourir. Amen. Marie c'est pour content. Ou même qui plein faveur. Grand mettre là avec vous. Li béni ou passe toute fille. Et li béni Jésus petit tout faire. Marie ou saint. Ou c'est maman bon Dieu, nous c'est pécheur. La prière pour nous aujourd'hui a ak le nous prête pour mourir. Amen. Marie c'est pour content. Ou même qui plein faveur. Grand mettre là avec vous. Li béni on passe toute fille. Et li béni Jésus petit tout faire. Marie ou saint. Ou c'est maman bon Dieu, nous c'est pécheur. La prière pour nous aujourd'hui a ak le nous prête pour mourir. Amen. Marie, c'est pour content. Ou même qui plein faveur. Grand mettre là avec vous. Li béni on passe toute fille. Et li béni Jésus petit tout faire. Marie ou saint. Ou c'est maman bon Dieu. Nous c'est pécheur. La prière pour nous aujourd'hui a ak le nous prête pour mourir. Amen. Ich grüße seist du Maria voll der Gnade, der Herr ist mit dir. Du bist gebenedeit unter den Frauen und gebenedeit ist die Frucht deines Leibes, Jesus. Heilige Maria, Mutter Gottes, bitte für uns Sünder, jetzt und in der Stunde unseres Todes. Amen. Ich grüße seist du Maria voll der Gnade, der Herr ist mit dir. Du bist gebenedeit unter den Frauen und gebenedeit ist die Frucht deines Leibes, Jesus. Heilige Maria, Mutter Gottes, bitte für uns Sünder, jetzt und in der Stunde unseres Todes. Amen. Gegrüße seist du, Maria, voller Gnade. Der Herr ist mit dir. Du bist gebenedeit unter den Frauen. Und gebenedeit ist die Frucht deines Leibes, Jesus. Heilige Maria, Mutter Gottes, bitte für uns Sünder, jetzt und in der Stunde unseres Todes. Amen. Gegrüße seist du, Maria, voller Gnade, der Herr ist mit dir. Du bist gebenedeit unter den Frauen, und gebenedeit ist die Frucht deines Leibes, Jesus. Heilige Maria, Mutter Gottes, bitte für uns Sünder, jetzt und in der Stunde unseres Todes. Amen. Gegrüße seist du, Maria, voller Gnade, der Herr ist mit dir. Du bist gebenedeit unter den Frauen. Und gebenedeit ist die Frucht deines Leibes, Jesus. Heilige Maria, Mutter Gottes, bitte für uns Sünder, jetzt und in der Stunde unseres Todes. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Wie im Anfang, so auch jetzt und alle Zeit und in Ewigkeit. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, bitte für uns, die wir unsere Zuflucht zu dir nehmen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Führe alle Seelen in den Himmel, besonders jene, die deiner Barmherzigkeit am meisten bedürfen. Amen. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise, like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house 
in which they were. Then there appeared to them tanks as a fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement, they asked, are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his own native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. Peter said to them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promises made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whoever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Many believed and were baptized. And the same day, about 3,000 were received into the church. Acts chapter 2, verses 1 to 11, and verses 38 to 41. Our Immaculate Heart of Mary, Sister Lucia received lights concerning the Holy Trinity, which she was not permitted to reveal. It is my heartfelt desire to obtain the virtues necessary to be pleasing to God. Please ask the Holy Spirit, whom Christ promised to his apostles and to the world, the gift of fortitude, that I may have the courage to be diligent in the pursuit of knowledge and honest in its use. Enlighten my understanding, make me prudent in my undertakings, courageous in adversity, and humble in prosperity. I join with the little shepherds in their prayer, O most holy trinity, I adore you. My God, my God, I love you in the most blessed sacrament. In this decade, we will pray the responses to the Lord's Prayer and the Hail Marys in Polish and Greek. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Chleba naszego powszedniego daj nam dzisiaj i odpuść nam nasze winy, jako i my odpuszczamy naszym winowajcom. I nie wódź nas na pokuszenie, ale nas zbaw ode złego. Amen. Zdrowaś Maryjo łaski pełna, Pan z Tobą, błogosławionaś Ty między niewiastami i błogosławiony owoc żywota Twojego Jezus. Święta Maryjo, Matko Boża, módl się za nami grzesznymi, teraz i w godzinę śmierci naszej. Amen. Zdrowaś Maryjo łaski pełna, Pan z Tobą, błogosławionaś Ty między niewiastami, i błogosławiony owoc żywota Twojego, Jezus. Święta Maryjo, Matko Boża, módl się za nami grzesznymi, teraz i w godzinę śmierci naszej. Amen. Zdrowaś Maryjo, łaski pełna, Pan z Tobą. Błogosławionaś Ty między niewiastami i błogosławiony owoc żywota Twojego, Jezus. Święta Maryjo, Matko Boża, módl się za nami grzesznymi, teraz i w godzinę śmierci naszej. Amen. Zdrowaś Maryjo, łaski pełna, Pan z Tobą, błogosławionaś Ty między niewiastami 
i błogosławiony owoc żywota Twojego, Jezus. Święta Maryjo, Matko Boża, módl się za nami grzesznymi, teraz i w godzinę śmierci naszej. Amen. Zdrowaś Maryjo, łaski pełna, Pan z Tobą, błogosławionaś Ty między niewiastami i błogosławiony owoc żywota Twojego, Jezus. Święta Maryjo, Matko Boża, módl się za nami grzesznymi, teraz i w godzinę śmierci naszej. Amen. Here Maria, que haritomeni, o kirio sine masisu, evlogimeni sime taxiton ginecon, que evlogimeno so carpos disquilia su o isus. Agia Maria Theotoke, para cali llamas tu samartolus, tora que estinora tu zanatu mas, amén. Here Maria, que haritomeni, o kirio sine masisu, evlogimeni sime taxiton ginecon, que evlogimeno so carpos της κοιλίας σου, ο Ιησούς. Αγία Μαρία Θεοτόκε, παρακάλει για μας τους αμαρτωλούς, τώρα και στην ώρα του θανάτου μας. Αμήν. Χαίρε Μαρία και χαριτωμένη, ο Κύριος είναι μασί σου, ευλογημένη η μετάξη των γυναικών και ευλογημένος ο καρπός της κοιλίας σου, ο Ιησούς. Αγία Μαρία Θεοτόκε, παρακάλει για μας τους αμαρτωλούς, τώρα και στην ώρα του θανάτου μας. Αμήν. Χαίρε Μαρία και χαριτωμένη, ο Κύριος είναι μασί σου, ευλογημένη εσύ μεταξύ των γυναικών και ευλογημένος ο καρπός της κοιλίας σου, ο Ιησούς. Αγία Μαρία Θεοτόκε, παρακάλει για μας τους αμαρτωλούς, τώρα και στην ώρα του θανάτου μας. Αμήν. Χαίρε Μαρία και χαριτωμένη, ο Κύριος είναι μασί σου, Ευλογημένη εσύ μεταξύ των γυναικών και ευλογημένος ο καρπός της κοιλίας σου, ο Ιησούς. Αγία Μαρία Θεοτόκε, παρακάλει για μας τους αμαρτωλούς, τώρα και στην ώρα του θανάτου μας. Αμήν. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Και νυν και αή και στους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. O Mary conceived without sin. Παρακάλει για μας που προστρέχουμε σε Σένα. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Οδήγησε όλες τις ψυχές στον ουρανό και ιδιαίτερα εκείνες που έχουν μεγαλύτερη ανάγκη του ελαιού σου. Αμήν. The fourth glorious mystery, the assumption. My lover speaks and says to me, Arise, my friend, my beautiful one, and come. For see, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, the time of pruning the wines has come, and the song of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its fig, and the vines in bloom give forth fragrance. Arise, my friend, my beautiful one, and come. Song of the Songs, chapter 2, verses 10 to 13. Immaculate Heart of Mary, your appearance above the cover tree caused many to question the sincerity of the three little shepherds. However, even nature responded to your grace, for the little branch upon which you stood assumed your heavenly fragrance. I pray for the grace to be emptied of myself, so I, too, may be assumed by your holy fragrance. I realized it was through their purity they were blessed to see you ascend towards the east into the heavens. In this decade, we will pray the responses to the Lord's Prayer and the Hail Marys in Indonesian and Italian. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Berila kami rezeki pada hari ini dan ampunilah kesalahan kami seperti kami pun mengampuni yang bersalah kepada kami. Dan janganlah masukkan kami ke dalam pencobaan, tetapi bebaskanlah kami dari yang jahat. Amin. Salam Maria penuh rahmat, Tuhan sertamu. Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita dan terpujilah buat tubuhmu Yesus. Santa Maria, Bunda Allah, doakanlah kami yang berdosa ini sekarang dan waktu kami mati. Amin. Salam Maria, penuh rahmat, Tuhan sertemu. Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita, dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu, Yesus. Santa Maria, Bunda Allah, doakanlah kami yang berdosa ini sekarang dan waktu kami mati. Amin. Salam Maria, penuh rahmat, Tuhan sertemu. Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita, dan terpujilah buat tubuhmu, Yesus. Santa Maria, Bunda Allah, doakanlah kami yang berdosa ini, sekarang dan waktu kami mati. Amin. Salam Maria, penuh rahmat, Tuhan sertemu. Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita, dan terpujilah buat tubuhmu, Yesus. Santa Maria, Bunda Allah, doakanlah kami yang berdosa ini, sekarang dan waktu kami mati. Amin. Salam Maria penuh rahmat. Tuhan sertemu. Terpujilah engkau di antara wanita dan terpujilah buah tubuhmu, Yesus. Santa Maria, Bunda Allah, doakanlah kami yang berdosa ini sekarang dan waktu kami mati. Amin. Ave Maria, piena di grazia, Signore con te. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, e benedetto il frutto del tuo seno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Ave Maria, piena di grazia, Signore è con te. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, e benedetto il frutto del tuo seno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Ave Maria, piena di grazia, il Signore è con te. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne e benedetto il frutto del tuo seno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, Adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Ave Maria, piena di grazia, il Signore è con te. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne e benedetto il frutto del tuo seno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori. Adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Ave Maria, piena di grazia, il Signore è con te. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne e benedetto il frutto del tuo seno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Come era in principio, ora e sempre, nei secoli dei secoli. Amen. O oh Mary, conceived without sin. Pregate per noi che ricorriamo a voi. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Portate in cielo tutte le anime, specialmente quelle che ne hanno più bisogno. Amen. The fifth glorious mystery, the crowning of Our Lady, Queen of Heaven. When they came to her, all with one accord blessed her, saying, You are the glory of Jerusalem. You are the great pride of Israel. You are the great boast of our nation. By your own hand, you have done all this. You have done good things for Israel, and God is pleased with them. May the Almighty Lord bless you forever. And all the people said, 
Amen. Book of Judith, chapter 15, verses 9 to 10. Immaculate heart of Mary, yours is truly a pilgrim heart. The words of Pope Pius XII ring true today and give perpetual reverence to your name. Since I crowned Our Lady Queen of the world, she has gone forth like a pilgrim virgin. And the graces and miracles she has performed along the way are such that we can hardly believe that we are seeing with our own eyes. As queen of all hearts, please bless my path and lead me in the ways of God. In this decade, we will pray the responses to the Lord's Prayer and the Hail Marys in Portuguese and Latin. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. O pão nosso de cada dia nos dai hoje, perdoai nas nossas ofensas, assim como nós perdoamos a quem nos tem ofendido, e não nos deixeis cair em tentação, mas livrai-nos do mal. Amém. Ave Maria, cheia de graça, Senhor é convosco. Bendita sois vós entre as mulheres, e bendita é o fruto do vosso ventre, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mãe de Deus, rogai por nós, pecadores, agora e na hora de nossa morte. Amém. Ave Maria, cheia de graça, o Senhor é convosco. Bendita sois vós entre as mulheres, e bendito é o fruto do vosso ventre, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mãe de Deus, rogai por nós, pecadores, agora e na hora de nossa morte. Amém. Ave Maria, cheia de graça, o Senhor é convosco. Bendita sois vós entre as mulheres, e bendito é o fruto do vosso ventre, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mãe de Deus, rogai por nós, pecadores, agora e na hora de nossa morte. Amém. Ave Maria, cheia de graça, o Senhor é convosco. Bendita sois vós entre as mulheres, e bendito é o fruto do vosso ventre, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mãe de Deus, rogai por nós, pecadores, agora e na hora de nossa morte. Amém. Ave Maria, cheia de graça, o Senhor é convosco. Bendita sois vós entre as mulheres, e bendito é o fruto do vosso ventre, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mãe de Deus, rogai por nós, pecadores, agora e na hora de nossa morte. Amém. Ave Maria, graça plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu e mulheribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tu e Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis pecatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tu e Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis pecatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tu e Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis pecatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tu e Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis pecatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tu e Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis pecatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Sicut erat in principio, et non et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O Mary conceive without sin. Ora pro nobis, quibat te confugimus. 
O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Pertu in celum omnis animas presertim ilas cue maxime indigent. Amen. To receive the plenary indulgence attached to this holy rosary, we will pray three Hail Marys for the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for the sanctification of priests and religious vocations, and for non-believers. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Ave María, gracia plena, dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Glória ao Pai, ao Filho e ao Espírito Santo, assim como era no princípio, agora e sempre. Amen. We salute our Heavenly Mother by praying the Hail Holy Queen. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, Espes Nostra Salve. A te clamamos, Exules Filii Eve. A te suspiramos, gementes e flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. E ergo, advocata nostra, e los tuos misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. E Jesum, Benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende, o clemens, o pia, o ducis. Virgo Maria. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Our God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we be seated deep that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain in obtain, what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. We will now pray to Saint Jacinta and Francisco Marto, the holy leader shepherds of Fatima, so they will intercede for us, especially all children in the world. God of infinite goodness, you love the innocent and exalt the humble. Please grant through the intercession of the Immaculate Mother of your Son that in imitation of Saints Francisco and Jacinta, we may serve you in simplicity of heart and thus may enter the kingdom of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, amen. Saint Jacinta Marta, Saint Francisco Marto, 
pray for us. continue with the second part of the 15 minutes to accompany Our Lady praying the Loreto litanies. O Queen of Portugal, more beautiful than the purest gold, adorned in a brilliant cloak, finer than the finest silk, rest upon a home oak, immaculate youth, did this bestow her heavenly glow upon three little shepherds of Fatima. Fiat mihi secundum verbum tuum. Their fate as a grain of mustard seed, no doubt, unlike Thomas, they believed, O oh sweet, childlike innocence. Faith as pure as mother's milk. They humbly obeyed her fond requests, despite the rebukes, the chastisements of the unbelievers, the skeptics. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Anno Domini 1917, the year in which our Holy Queen mother of the incarnation, the world made flesh, came down into a land of poverty with a message for humanity, not to kings, not to royalty, did she speak, but rather to three poor little shepherds, like her so humble and so meek, Mary and her little lambs in Fatima of Portugal. The 13th day of May, the queen did first appear, a sight so bright like the angelic light to the shepherds of long ago, tending their flocks on the outskirts of a town called Bethlehem. Save this time the heavenly emissary was the queen herself, the Virgin Mary. What does thy grace want of me? asked she perplexed young shepherdess, as was the Virgin at the archangel's strange request. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Mother of God. Pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Pray for us. Mother of Christ. Pray for us. Mother of the Church. Pray for us. Mother of Mercy. Pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace. Pray for us. Mother of Hope. Pray for us. Mother Most Pure. Pray for us. Mother Most Chaste. Pray for us. Mother Inviolate. Pray for us. Mother undefiled. Pray for us. And thou, O Queen of the Rosary, her inquisition did allay with a simple exhortation. Pray, pray the Rosary every day. And make sacrifices, may acts of reparation for the sins committed against the sacred heart of the incarnation. The 13th day of July, the children saw a frightful sight, a ghastly vision to the innocent eyes. 
so surreal, a vision of hell, a place so real, though many, even prelates, deny. On the 13th day of October, another month of our Blessed Mother, Our Lady did appear amidst the clouds and started crowds, though she they could not see or hear. Yet, to their surprise, thousands of astonished eyes did see the sun dance in the sky. Mother most amiable, pray for us. Mother most admirable, pray for us. Mother of good counsel, pray for us. Mother of our creator, pray for us. Mother of our redeemer, pray for us. Virgin most prudent, pray for us. Virgin most venerable, pray for us. Virgin most renowned, pray for us. Virgin most powerful, pray for us. Virgin most merciful, pray for us. Virgin most faithful, pray for us. Immaculate Mother of Sacred Child, Virgin most merciful, Mother undefiled, thine immaculate heart wrapped around by the thorn so vile, which pierced his sacred crown, lacerated by the blasphemy of sinful men which thou did reveal to the seer, Sister Lucia, these scandalous denials, thine immaculate conception, thy divine maternity and motherhood of men, thy perpetual virginity, and in addition, these acts of sedation, disgracing thy grace's images, and amongst thy children fostering indifference, mediatrix of all graces, mother most pure, mother most chaste, O queen of the holy rosary, mother of humanity, we beseech thee, we implore thee, tarry not, do make haste, make the hierarchy open their eyes to see, thy words to embrace as obedient sons of the loving mother, to heed thy words, to humbly obey. This we ask, this we pray. Mirror of justice. Pray for us. Seat of wisdom. Pray for us. Cause of our joy. Pray for us. Spiritual vassal. Pray for us. Vessel of honor. Pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion. Pray for us. Mystical rose. Pray for us. Tower of David. Pray for us. Tower of ivory. Pray for us. House of gold. Pray for us. For the consecration of Russia to thine immaculate heart that she will return to Holy Mother Church and never more depart. Please set in motion the establishment of the first Saturday's devotion. And finally, the revealing of that hidden portion of thy message to the three little seers of Fatima. In Portugal, the dogma of the faith will always be preserved etc. Ark of the Covenant. Pray for us. Gate of Heaven. Pray for us. Morning Star. Pray for us. Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Refuge of Sinners. Pray for us. Solace of Migrants. Pray for us. Comforter of the Afflicted. Pray for us. Help of Christians. Pray for us. Queen of angels. Pray for us. Queen of patriarchs. Pray for us. Queen of prophets. Pray for us.
Give us hearts like theirs, pure and undefiled, hearts of self-denial, of self-sacrifice, the will to fulfill act of penance and reparation, to cast away sin and vice, for only by means of these shall the sacred heart of the Lamb of God be worldly appeased. Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Queen of Martyrs, pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of the family, pray for us. Queen of peace, pray for us. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tui mulieribus, e benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mate Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus nun, et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, espera us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, O Lord God, that we, your servants, may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. For our protection against COVID-19, let us pray to the Virgin Mary. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God, Despise not our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin Mary. Amen. For our defense against evil, let us pray to St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us pray to St. Joseph for protection. Remember, O most pure spouse of Mary, ever virgin and my loving protector, St. Joseph, that no one ever had recourse to thy protection or implored thine aid without obtaining relief. Confiding therefore in thy goodness, I come before thee and humbly implore thee. Despise not my petitions, foster father of the Redeemer, but graciously receive them. Amen. Let us consecrate ourselves to our Heavenly Mother. O oh my Lady, O oh my Mother, I give myself entirely to you, and on this day, as a proof of my filial love, I offer you my eyes, my ears, my tongue, and my heart, in a word my whole being, as I am all yours. O oh, Mother of goodness, keep me and protect me as your child. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We invite you to join us again on June the 4th for a second First Saturday Communion of Reparation Rosary. 
We ask you to consider fulfilling the five consecutive first Saturdays of reparation without missing any, so you can receive the graces promised by Our Lady's Immaculate Heart. This concludes the Rosary of Reparation. Thank you for joining us today.